So we're going to go to new and we're going to go to Google Docs. So the question was how to do a cover letter and table of contents. So we go to Google Docs and my recommendation is actually through a template. So I work at Hawking College, so that's why mine says Hawking College. There's some templates for Hawking College, but in general, you're going to have a general tab. And um, so the first thing that you cover letter. So there's resumes. Uh, let's see, project proposals, sales, legal, human resources, freelancer engagement. So you see there's a variety of different things in there. For what he's needing, I am thinking that maybe, let's go ahead and do this one. Okay. So you got the name, you got the book, the book report, name of the book. You would put your name and the date on it. And then it has the um, introduction, talks about, and these are tips that you can also use as well as to what put on there. So the title, the author, the illustrator, um, the setting. So this has some really good layouts that's already been applied. All you got to do is really just kind of fill in the, the, you know, the content where the image is and, you know, find one that's relevant for what you're doing um, and so on and so forth. Okay, the, the, so, you know, just fill it in, put your content in there, make it your own. So one of the things that you can do as well is just to customize this. I mean, when it comes to like these borders and stuff, you can play with it. You can add some of your own um, images. Um, you can um, explore that. But that's not what I want to focus on right now. The other thing I want to focus on is the table of contents. So this has the introduction, but um, it's not necessarily a table of contents. The table of contents is a really handy feature that they have here in Google. So what I'm going to do is go to insert because a table of contents should ideally be on its own page. So I'm going to do pay a break, page break. It's going to create a new page. See? So I got a blank new page. And now I'm going to do insert, there we go, table of contents. So there, you can do two different table of contents um, by default. You can choose one like this. And what this does is hyperlinks. Okay. So this gives you the introduction, the setting, the characters, the plots. And this is based off headings. And what's nice about this is like whenever somebody's looking at it, if they are looking at it as a digital document, meaning they're opening it online, they can just click on it and it'll take them right to where they want to go. And you'll notice like these links, they're already set up um, to go. It's based off headings or subheadings. Let's see what that is. That's considered a heading one. So that's what it's based off of. Same thing here, the characters. Okay, super easy. Let's say it's going to be a, a print document that is, you know, the hyperlinks are not going to work well if they're going to print it out. So then you want to use page numbers. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Shoot, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Okay. Want to insert a new page again. So insert, break, page break. And now I am going to do the table of contents again, but in a different way. Table of contents, and then one chooses black ones. So these are not going to be hyperlinks. So if I click on it, nothing. Oh, okay, hyperlinks still work. That made a liar out of me. Hyperlinks still work, but more importantly is the page numbers. Because if somebody is reading this document, like a physical document that they don't have it online, then you know the, the links matter for squat so that's when the page numbers come into play so if somebody's reading this and they see the characters da 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 it's like okay that's on page four i can just scroll down for looking at a physical copy of this down to page four and then they find the characters so if you're using google uh, to write a report uh i highly highly recommend using the templates make it your own don't leave content like this you know if you don't have anything to put in there then just take it out um, but you can customize it. Um, it's got a lot of the prefab set up for you. Just kind of fill it in for what you need. And this table contents feature, don't forget that. That's like super handy. Um, table contents and da da da. And I already got it in here, so I can't do it again, but I think. Um, insert 
Yeah, well, I can, but you only need one. Um, now, what happens if you make a change? It's like, say, let's go ahead and put another page break in here. Insert break, page break. And let's say I am writing something else, like this is something else. Okay. So what's important also is to note like this is the style of heading one. So say you add some other content, you, you know, change it from the template to add some of your own content. Well, all you got to do is go back in here, make sure you're clicking in here. So this is selected and hit this little refresh and then it updates with something else. Isn't that cool? So then also that it does. So this is all headings one. Okay. Everything that we've been doing is heading one. So say you have something else and it's a heading two. Okay. Um, heading two. You know, it would be named whatever you need appropriately. And then you would just do the same thing. Make sure this is selected and then hit refresh. And then you can see that it's right underneath. So use this tool. Google made this tool. Use this tool. It makes life so much easier. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.